Hello everyone, it's Marie and welcome to another vlog. So I'm still on my New Zealand South Island road trip. I'm on the west coast, <laughs> which is the most beautiful part of New Zealand. But then again, everywhere I go in New Zealand, I'll tell you it's the most beautiful part because all of it's beautiful, but the west coast definitely is astounding. I remember I was told by lots of people, go to the west coast, go to the west coast, it's beautiful. And I was like, yeah, I'm sure it is, but really, it's gorgeous. Uh, so yeah, yesterday I drove through the pouring rain and missed and missed a lot of the great views from Wanaka to Franz Josef, which is kind of sad, but I still had a great day. So if you want to see the vlog, link up here. So now I am just in Franz Josef Glacier Place. <laughs> I'm in the National Park and I'm just about to do a Franz Josef Glacier hike. Uh, I'm doing the five hour Roberts Point hike. So I'm currently in the car park and it seems very popular. A lot of people are doing it. It's supposed to be a five hour return. So similar to the Rob Roy's Glacier I did the other day, which was a five hour turn. Let's just get on with it. Hope you enjoy seeing the um, Franz Josef Glacier. And if you're in New Zealand, definitely go to the West Coast. Like you have to go to the West Coast, it's beautiful. Okay, anyway, uh, let's, let's, let's hike, I'll see you soon. So back in my car, it's about five hours later, so I did it at the estimated time. I would say that this Robert Points hike was one of the best like walks, hikes I've done in New Zealand, just because the track itself was so beautiful. I mean, there were so many times when we'd come up to like swinging bridges, we'd walk like kind of on waterfalls, the amount of times I walked through water. There was actually a warning sign uh, before we entered, and it was like, warning, this is a track for only experienced and well-equipped you know hikers only or whatever and um, it definitely was quite a challenging track in the respect that I think you need to be really able-bodied you need to have really good fitness you need to be able to like pull your own body weight up at times when you have to like pull yourself up it is actually kind of a climb in a lot of places it's very steep and it's very slippery as well I wouldn't do this in the winter uh, but in the summer it's fine but even sometimes I'd slide down it is slippery at times and um, yeah if you have a good balance or you're not able to like pull your own body weight up to get up certain places um, don't do it but overall it's a pretty good hike there was people with kids doing it not young kids but you know older, ki older kids I'd say it's definitely doable for most people but you have to have a good physical body I'd say for sure
hello again sorry about that my memory card filled up so i decided to drive from the car park to the front of joseph uh, town because I wanted to get a smoothie. So I got myself a smoothie and this was an offer for like five dollars And normally these bigger ones are way more than that. So I actually pre-made last night when I was in the hostel I made rice and beans and All that stuff chickpeas and stuff uh, for dinner last night and I made a lot so way too much for just dinner so I ended up Leaving a load of it and I was gonna have it today for lunch, but I really don't feel like rice right now I wanted a kind of light summery dinner lunch so I got myself a smoothie so maybe I'll have that for dinner tonight and heat it up now I'm on my way to drive to Hakatika thankfully today isn't a long drive like yesterday yesterday I think I drove for like four hours today it's only an hour and a half to Hakatika so it'll be a nice chill day on the west coast hopefully I can go to the beach this afternoon this evening even and I've also heard about some nice pools I've heard that the Hakatika gorge is lovely so since I did a nice hike today I want to take the rest of the day nice and easy and just chill and yeah, I could even visit everything in Hakatika tomorrow, who knows. And tomorrow I'm staying in Westport the night, and then the next day I'm, I'm driving to Wellington. I was supposed to drive to Wellington tomorrow after Hakatika, but it's such a long drive, it's like seven hours or something from Hakatika to Wellington. Like, not Wellington, but to Picton to get the ferry to Wellington. And I really don't want to drive seven hours tomorrow. Especially since I want to see Pancake Rocks tomorrow, I want to see the Gorge tomorrow. There's a lot of stuff I want to see tomorrow, so I decided to stay a night at Westport, and then I'm going to get the ferry the next day, so I really rebooked the schedule. The great thing about New Zealand, by the way, the Kiwis are so chill. Like, generally, if you want to rebook something or whatever, they'll just rebook it for you. People are so amazing in New Zealand. Like, companies are much more chilled out. Anyway, I'm just going to take myself on a drive and get a Hakatika and chill at Hakatika and walk around the town and enjoy myself today. I'm just going to get driving and we'll see where we end up. It's now about two days later. I'm gonna do this quickly because my memory card is almost full. I didn't get a chance to finish the vlog because my memory card filled up and I was also incredibly busy. Um, well, I went to Hokitika last yesterday and I ended up meeting a girl at my hostel who I met at Rhythm and Alps. So she and I went to the Hokitika Gorge and we also went to Dorothy Falls the next day. Uh, it was cool that I met up with her uh, after seeing her at Rhythm and Alps. It was really, really random but really cool. Uh, so I'll just insert some pictures of Hokitika Gorge and Dorothy Falls here. met some Australian guys at the hostel and we went to see some glow worms at the glow worm dell in Hokitika too that night and I watched the sunrise too which is the famous thing you do in Hokitika and then yesterday I drove from Hokitika to Westport I stayed in Westport the night because it was a good mid waypoint between Hokitika and Picton where I'm going today um, and I obviously passed through Pancake Rocks on the way so I'll insert some clips of Pancake Rocks here on my trip to um, Doubtful Sound last week. So I just keep bumping into people I know. <laughs> so I'm just passing through Nelson because I'm on my way to Picton. This is a good midway point between Picton and Hokitika and Westport. And I also just had to meet a girl here quickly because she had to give me something. Maybe I'll talk about that story another time. Either way, I'm just in Nelson now, chilling at the beach because I've got a few hours. My ferry's not until 9 p.m. It's about 3 or 4 p.m. now. So it's only a two hour drive to Nelson from here. So yeah, I'm just gonna end this vlog here. I'm gonna chill at the beach and then I'm gonna drive myself to Nelson. And then I'll probably start a brand new vlog as of tomorrow because the next day I'm doing the Tongarero Crossing, which I'm so excited about. So yeah, I'm so excited to go back onto the North Island. It's gonna be amazing to be back on the North Island, but I'll also be so sad to leave the South. So my memory card's filling up now. I'm gonna end this here. Thank you for watching. Give me a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to watch more videos about solo travel, traveling New Zealand, working in New Zealand, Australia, 
India. I'm going to all those places. So give me a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Bye.